Hello everyone and welcome back to Gamer Hacks channel. So before anything you need to know that this boss doesn't have any wide mechanics or one shot mechanics. He doesn't have any but though he can be really hard boss if you didn't understand what the mechanics he is using. So firstly guys you need to, to know that this boss has three faces. The first face is just this one that make darkness around you. This is the easiest phase just attack the boss until he moves to the second phase. So while the boss is moving from phase 1 to phase 2, he makes this stagger check. If you want, you can stagger him if you have enough stagger. If you don't have enough stagger, just run outside because he will damage you by a lot. So make sure to run outside and wait until he make the big AoE, then go back and keep attacking the boss. And for phase 2 guys, he will make this gravitational field around him. This field will make a debuff on you. You see this debuff. This one will reduce your movement speed by a lot, up to 60% movement speed reduction. So you need to be really careful from the, the, this debuff. And by the way, this debuff is going really high if he attacks you. Like, you see see what will happen now if he attacks me. I need for him to do some attacks, okay. Do you see? It goes faster up to 60. And if you want to get rid of this debuff, as you can see, I cannot move at all. Just put outside. Okay, I'm outside now. And wait until the debuff goes away. Then you can go back and attack the boss. And by the way, if the boss is down like this, make sure to stay in the middle. Don't stay near him or outside. Just stay in this area. And in phase 3, guys, instead of the slow movement, this time he will do make two debuffs. Let me show it to you guys. This will be the first one. This one increase the damage taken from the boss. And the other one is the fire or the lava damage on you. So yeah, every time you get this one really high, try to get outside, then re-enter. Otherwise, he might one-shot you actually at the end, if you are lower item level. And also be careful from this one, because this one will, will stay for 19 minutes. And you can get it. Uh, you can get tried from it either by two ways The first one is using the panacea item or you can if you have a paladin in your party He can use cleanliness and he will remove this one from you So normally boss at the end he actually dies faster here in this phase. He's is, he is which is really low But you need the most important in this phase to be really careful from all the attacks and of course focus on this one like you see it's x60 like, I am way higher than the boss I can level and still I get a lot of damage because this one exists x60 so <laughs> just get outside wait until it's back to x0 and go inside and just like the slow one as long as the boss doesn't hit you it will move slowly if the boss hit you by any attacks like did you see it's moved way fast you see it's up x40 now so be careful and don't let the boss attack you at all during this if you got hit by any way, just go outside. Oh, for this one, stay here, then go inside. Again, guys, if the boss is down, stay in the middle like this, then go inside. And for this attack, guys, he will hit the ground five times. The first one near him, the second one, and the third one is far away from him. Then it will be random, okay? Just be careful and don't get hit by these. And for this attack, guys, you need to be careful and just stay in the middle of these lines. And I think the rest of the attacks are not easy but you can use to them by just playing you know and knowing how to bitch and stuff so that's all for this guardian thanks a lot guys for watching and see you guys in the next one bye